Joe Budden explains why his manicure has sued him for $30,000. The lady, she does the manicure, she leaves, that's the end of that night, right? Four months later, I get a letter in the mail, you guessed it, from an attorney. The attorney says that her client was viciously mauled, had to be, had to be held in the hospital for days, couldn't do manicures ever again because the dog her hand off. We need to see papers for this dog. Is this dog legal? Is this dog an uh who is this monster, right? And you are gonna have to pay thirty thousand dollars for damages and the lawyer fees. Thirty grand and lawyer fees. That's what they said. Cool. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I go to my partner. Mind you, when she came in, it didn't really feel like she knew the girl so tough. They didn't seem like two people that, you know, really, really kicked it fly. So I go to my partner, I say, hey, did you know that manicures girl? And she says, no. I met her on the internet. And now I have a $30,000 bill over a manicure and a dog. This is awesome. That's the end of that story. Take from it what you will, but even if it's the internet, you're responsible for the people that you meet. And you're also responsible for the effect that those internet people will have on your life. Do with that what you will. Now, back to coffee. Rest in peace to Brooklyn. Yeah, I'm sick of it, man. God, outside opening up, I gotta be a slave to my own fucking house because this is weird out here. You can't even go nowhere because this is weird. How you scared to be around people because they fucking weird? What happened? Did you pay? Oh, I settled with the girl. I settled with the girl. She asked for 30. I said, no way in hell. I probably said something else. So the lawyer said something else. She came back with 15. I said, no way. They came back with 7.5. I said, no way. They came back with five grand. I paid it. I paid it to avoid having to continue to go through whatever that legal process was. It would have cost me more in lawyer fees to have him try to lower five grand. So I paid it. Asking for 30 k for nothing is nuts. Nah, man, it's, there's ambulance chasers out there. There are people that look for quick come-ups out there that are... I mean, in hindsight, you gotta make sense of it, right? If you invite a stranger off the internet to your home and they perceive you to have this huge house, they perceive you to be doing all right, yeah, they're gonna probably look for a wet floor so they can fall down and sue you. It's probably why you should only allow friends in your house. It's probably why you should be clear on who your friends are. Thanks for tuning in to 9MAG TV.